you sometimes feel stuck as a working professional and in just one source of income. If that is your situation, I can tell you that that should be an end. Unlock that potential of earning additional money by starting a side business. There are so many profitable businesses you can start as a professional without quitting your job. All you need to do is to use your spare time to carry out these jobs. And it requires little or minimum amount of money to start up with. I'm going to give you six examples of businesses you can actually start. I mean, you can start from now, from today, if you make up your mind, to begin to earn that side income. The first one is start what we call an online coaching or consulting business. Yes, you can start an online course. Now, all you need to do is to leverage on your skill sets and locate people who are in that industry that requires additional help with whatever they do. You guide them through this or you write an online course and put it in any of the platforms that people can buy. All you need to do is to advertise the courses and people will buy and pay you money. While you're sleeping, your money will be making money. While you are at work, working for someone else, you're making money. And number two, you can start a freelance business. Now you also use your skills in this case, maybe your writing skills, your video editing skills, your, your, your skills in terms of um, designing or your programming skills, any of your skills that you have, you can locate a platform such as Upwork and advertise yourself. There are people who are in need of this in the gig economy, so to say, will reach out to you for your expertise and you negotiate with them. At the end of the day, you deliver a job to them and they will pay you. You do this at your extra time, at your spare time. You don't need to do this between eight and five. You can do this any time of the day because it requires just your laptop, your internet connection, and your ongoing and creating a platform on these sort of platforms. And number three, you can start an e-commerce business, otherwise known as drop shipping. This model requires you to create an online store, which you can do with any of the providers of this sort of uh, stores. You can actually register with them and create an online store where you, you put in the product that you want to be dealing with on those stores and reach out to manufacturers directly, either in China or any other countries where you can locate this product at a cheap price. Arrange with them and have them ship these things directly to your customers. You don't have to see the product. You don't have to touch the product physically. Your, um, the manufacturers you contact will ship this product directly to your customers when you have orders that you need to fulfill. Number four, you can start an Airbnb hosting business. Do you have a spare room in your home? Maybe in your basement, do you have a spare room? All you need to do is to register with Airbnb and begin to use it as an Airbnb hosting home. People are making a lot of money from that business and you can start that business today. The next one is you can start a babysitting business. If you have the opportunity, maybe on your days off or weekends, you can speak to friends around, people you know around, or your community. And if any of them has an occasion or if they need to attend and they need someone to, tend to attend to their babies or to their children, they bring them to you during this period for a few hours. And after that, they will pay you. When you start this, eventually you see more people will get to know you and you continue to do this for a living. This is number six you can actually become an insurance agent. Yes, this will require you to take what we call the LLQP exam. It takes between three, between a month and three months, depending on you, to prepare write these exams and you begin to sell insurance products. You sell insurance products, you will be handsomely rewarded or paid in terms of commission. This does not, you don't have to do this full time. You can do this part time and you earn a living. The, Good thing about these businesses I've mentioned to you that you can start as an employee is the fact that you can do them without getting to stop working. You can actually be working and be doing this at the same time. And if any of these businesses you choose, you can eventually scale it up to the level that you feel you're comfortable and you might decide to quit your nine to five job and focus on it. What you need to do here is to ensure that 
you manage your time properly so there is no conflict between your nine to five job and your business and to avoid you having burnout. So you need to set your business in such a way that you can run it. Have you subscribed to our channel yet? Please, if you haven't, kindly subscribe, like and share this video so YouTube will notify you each time we post a new video. Have a wonderful day.